This here is Homer the Homesteader, back at the Bucky's in Temple, Texas. A frequent stop, as this is generally just about where I need to fuel up. Getting started on my trip up to the Peace of Eden Homestead. Which reminds me, don't forget to subscribe, like our videos, and share it with your friends. But this is generally my first fuel stop. I'm on my way up to the PC Eden Homestead when I'm coming from Bastrop, Texas. And uh, stopped here again this time in the farm Prius. As you can see, this thing still holds a lot. Last time I was up here, I uh, was where, with overall Dave, and last time I was headed this way and I stopped here, we was changing the starter out, or more importantly, or more correctly, overall Dave was changing the starter out. I just got to stand in the parking lot and look silly. But anyway, uh, stopping here and thinking about that adventure and uh, getting the sawmill and all that stuff up on the way up there and that jazz to blow out on the way back, as well as where I'm at in my current life has got me thinking about balance. Uh, balance in my life used to mean sitting at the center of a teeter-totter or seesaw where my emotions were hitting peaks on the one side and valleys on the other side and while i was on the peak i was praying it never end and hoping i'd never reach another valley but then there was that big downturn in my emotions and pretty soon i was in a valley hoping for that peak to come back well Maybe it's with age, maybe it's a little bit of wisdom. I don't know what to call it. But I've certainly found that learning to be with my emotions right where I'm at, not wishing for them to be in a different place, but just to experience the moment has helped to uh, find some balance and peace in my life. Uh, sometimes I wonder uh, when I am feeling peaceful and just okay with where I'm at, what's wrong with you, Homer? Because uh, I'm not always quite used to that peace and balance in my life. But one area that's uh, really uh, come to mind about how I can be at balance is my thoughts on retiring and uh, stopping being working here for the state of Texas. And You know, one moment I'm ready to run out the door to the PC eating homestead and never to go back to work again and leave it all behind and I could do it right in that moment it's kind of like a valley for me or a peak I don't know which and then the next moment I could be man I just want to stay here and help out the citizens of Texas a little bit more and the constituents of the agency I work for and then my mind's off in the other direction Hey, like, let's stay here and work and blah, 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 and not retire and all that jazz. Um, and I guess my, uh, my thoughts on balance are, you know, used to be I'd stay in that emotional state and I was hoping for the other to come or waiting for that one to go and uh, trying to get out of where I was at. And today when I experience those really high moments where... I'm just super duper in love with the thought of being somewhere else. I just soak that in. And when I'm thinking I wouldn't want to be anywhere else, I don't chastise myself for what's crazy, you're ready to retire and you can be done with this. Instead, I just sit in that emotion and appreciate that moment for what it is. I don't know if that makes much sense to any of y'all. But uh, uh, for me, it, it has, and it's meant a lot in my life to find that peace and balance where I can appreciate the moment for where I'm at and how I feel and not want to wish to be somewhere else. So I hope you can find some balance in your life today and uh, learn to appreciate it. I have to admit, uh, sometimes that feels kind of like peace, that balance uh, being at peace with where I'm at that moment and uh, I get a little anxious when I feel too much of that because I'm not used to it I'm used to being back and forth and wanting to be somewhere else 
And so uh, I hope not only do you find some balance and peace in your life today, but I hope you also learn and learn to appreciate being at peace with being at peace. Whatever it is you do, wherever it is you are, I'm wishing you a lot of balance, a lot of peace, and a lot of good things in your life. Whether you're in a high emotional state or a low emotional state, I think you can learn to appreciate the moment for what it is and find that balance. Again, I gotta get the shameless plug at the end is uh, don't forget us here at Peace of Eden Homestead as we chronicle our adventures of getting started in a whole new life and uh, more simple, self-sustaining, uh, all that cool jazz uh, where we're going to be more in tune with nature and the song of the universe. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our antics. And uh, share it with your friends. They may find something they like here too. That's all I got. Just saw you leg up Nate on property.